Premier Pup is editing. Say hi. Say hi. <laughs> Hey everybody, it's Premier Gal here, and today is the first day of my five days of social where I'm gonna be uploading a video tutorial each day of this week focusing on the best export settings for five different social media platforms. And today I'm gonna be showing you how to export your video best for YouTube, how to make it look its best. So with YouTube, you know, the, the player does not adapt to the aspect ratio of your video. Like on Facebook and Twitter, you'll sometimes see square videos, 16 by nine videos, and the player adjusts. But on YouTube, it's only a 16 by nine, which works best with your high definition 1920 by 1080 or 1280 by 720, right? But it doesn't look so great when you have your square video because you get the black pillar bars on the left and the right of the video. So that's why you mainly see 16 by nine, but you will see some black pillar boxes on some older videos that were shot in 480, like some music videos that were shot from the 90s. So I just wanted to give that little history here um, before I dive in, but now that you understand 16 by nine is the player, let's go ahead and dive in and I will show you the best export settings for exporting to YouTube. So I'm here inside of Premiere Pro. Um, you can see I have a great expression on my face here in the program panel. Um, and this is a tutorial that I'm ready to export to YouTube. I'm gonna go up to File, Export, Media. So the part that we're going to focus on is right over here on the right side of this dialog box under Export Settings. This is where all of the important information needs to go before you hit this export button, okay? So the first thing first, for web, you need the format to be H.264. And Premiere Pro is quite smart. It actually saves the previous preset that you used the last time. And the last preset that I used was the YouTube 1080p HD. So if you click on this arrow, you can actually see all of these amazing presets that Premiere Pro has for you to choose from. So they have actually five different YouTube presets. They even have 480p, which is quite um, interesting to me because I don't know anybody that works in 480p, but if you have any older videos in 480, this would be a way that you can export. Um, but the most common are now today is 720p, 1080p HD, and YouTube 2160, which is 4K. So I use 1080p, so I'm just gonna select that preset. And then what you can do is you can select where the file's going to be saved on your hard drive under output name, and actually you can change the name of the file itself. So if you click on that, it brings another save as dialog box, and you can change the name, you can call it test gal, and you'll notice that it saves at a .mp4. An H.264 format saves as a .mp4. So you're gonna save. Under basic video settings, we're good with the width and the height, 1920 by 1080. Um, the frame rate right now is matching the source. And I was and this video was shot at 29.97, but if you needed to change that, you can just uncheck this box here and you can select a new frame rate. Okay, but I'm gonna just lock that in place, okay? Now the bitrate settings, this is what I was talking about as the part of the preset that you may want to change, right? So the bitrate settings here, you can play around with the constant um, bitrate, which just doesn't allow you to have a maximum bitrate. It just has one steady bitrate throughout the entire encoding process when you export, or you have the variable bitrate one pass, which is what YouTube the preset in Premiere Pro set as, and it has a target bit rate of 16 and a maximum of 16. Now, a lot of people argue that variable bit rate two pass is better because the first pass analyzes all of the parts of the image that um, could have a lower or higher bit rate compression. So it analyzes all that data, and then the second pass compresses it. So this usually takes longer, right, for the second pass. But if you want a better image and you have the time, I would recommend changing this to VBR2 pass. 
and then you can you can see that the estimated file size at the bottom is 555. So if you need to reduce the file size, you can lower the target bitrate. So if I change this to 8, you can see that now it's 283. And I'm going to leave the maximum bitrate at 16. Now if you go any lower than this, the image quality may not be that great on YouTube. I would recommend being the lowest at 8 for YouTube. And, the, and 16 is also good as well. It just increases the file size. So stay between 8 and 16 for YouTube, okay? So if you wanted to save the two paths, you could just go up here to preset and you can save this as YouTube 1080p and you can say um, VBR two pass. So you can use this for future and you don't have to change the bitrate encoding each time, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and hit okay. Now, once you save that custom VBR two pass preset, you're going to go to the publish tab and you're going to scroll down and you can select whether or not you want to auto publish this to YouTube by checking this box next to YouTube. If you're not signed in, you can hit the login button here. It will say login instead of log out. You can choose the privacy if you want it to be public, private, or enlisted. You can add your tags and a description. You will also have the option to delete the local file after upload. And then you can either hit Q, which will open up Adobe Media Encoder, and you'll be able to still work in Premiere Pro while it's exporting an Adobe Media Encoder, or you can just hit export and it starts exporting the video and depending on how much RAM you have and um, your computer, it'll, it'll vary in time. But because I'm using the two pass, it's definitely gonna take longer than the one pass. And so yeah, that is how you best export video for YouTube inside of Premiere Pro. And before I end this tutorial, I wanna give Weirdo Designs a shout out. He was a great consultant on the new designs of my Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube channel art. He has a great you know, vision and advice, and I'm sure he'd be more than willing to help you out if you just tweet at him. So please give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful, share it, and subscribe to this channel, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.